Okay, so this is the one that uh, very often test candidates slip up on. Uh, and this is the London Coney Roundabout. Coming down London Road, but turning right towards Hemel Hempstead. So if it's independent driving, which it more than likely will be, you're following Hemel Hempstead. Traffic is slowing in front of me a little bit, so that might give me, or I should say you guys, a chance to have a look at the sign as I get to it. So you remember you'll want the right hand lane as you come to the lights. Now I'm going to do this roundabout in two ways. I'm going to do it the right way first and then have a look at the other video in a while where I'm going to do it the wrong way. But this is the correct way first. So what you need to note on this roundabout is we're coming up to the traffic lights but I'm four or five vehicles back in the queue. Now if you're the first couple of vehicles in the queue, it is a traffic light controlled roundabout all the way around. If you're the first couple of vehicles in the queue, you should be able to get through all the way around without being caught at any of the lights. Now because I say I'm five or six vehicles back, the chances are I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get stuck at each set of lights. So that's actually quite good because it shows you, it'll make it a little bit easier for you to see what the positioning should be. Now as I move out, I don't want the lane that's next to the roundabout itself. I want the one to the left of that, which still takes me around to the right. Again, it's very, very poorly marked. So you've got a right arrow in front of you, but you're still going around to the right. Now what you're doing if you're doing it correctly, is you stand next to this little hatch marking on the left hand side. And as I said, because I was three or four vehicles back, I've got caught on the first set of lights. Now again, you can't see it in the video here, but you might have seen it just before I came to a stop there. Uh, there's a hatch mark into my left hand side. So I've got three lanes. I'm in the left of the three lanes. There's the lights changing so I can carry on. So all you've got to do is you've just got to keep in this lane. And it will take you around naturally to where you want to be. Again, as I said, because I got stuck at the first, well not because I got stuck at the first set of lights, but because I was four or five vehicles back, I've got stuck at every set of lights. There's the lights changing. So it brings you into the left-hand lane of the dual carriageway, heading down towards Hemel Hempstead. Now get your car moving where possible, yeah? Don't hang around at 40 or 45 mile an hour and get that car up between, you know, somewhere around 55, 60 mile an hour. As you might be able to see from the video that I'm doing about 50, 52, 53 mile per hour. Just be aware of people joining on the left. So I'm just checking my right door mirror to see if I need to move over, but there's nobody joining on the left anyway. Now when we eventually reach the roundabout, which will be the Park Street roundabout, you'll be asked to do one or two things. He might say to you, right, we're now going to follow signs for Watford, or we're going to follow signs for St Albans. When I do the wrong method of the London Cody roundabout, which you've just been round, I'll do the St Albans one then. So for the moment, I'll be following the Watford version, but he wouldn't tell you that yet. Generally, as you reach the top of the hill here, this is where the examiner will be then give you the next instruction. If it's independent driving, you'll be saying, right, you're following signs for Watford. So there's plenty of signs to tell you where to be. Of course, it's dual carriageway at the moment. So what you'll find it will do, it will split into three lanes. So all you need to do is stay next to the centre line if you're following Watford. Here's a sign on the left hand side, you might be able to see it as I slow up, so it's the middle lane that I want for Watford. I'm just keeping next to the centre line. So this is a Park Street roundabout. I'll come down the A414 from the London Coney roundabout. So remember you must be in the middle lane here.
again. Positioning can go wrong here, so what I need to do is be next to this left kerb as I go through. Left signal, and it's the next exit. And I'm now heading towards Watford, as I said. Generally what the examiner will say if it's independent driving, that's the end of the independent driving. I'll go back to direct here in you as usual. Sometimes what they do is they get you to turn right on the roundabout at the bottom. So you'll see a 300 yard marker coming up soon. Again, it may not be very easy to see on the video until quite late. So there's your roundabout coming up, there's your 300 yard marker, so we're turning right.